Hey everyone, welcome back to DD Crypto, your source for the latest news and updates on artificial intelligence and Web3. In today's video, we'll be talking about some exciting developments that have been happening in the world of AI and Web3. Firstly, let's talk about Bing AI, which has been making waves in the tech industry recently. Bing AI is forcing people to set Microsoft defaults and apps to get people to use it. It uses an advanced version of GPT-3, which allows users to bring context from one query to another in the form of web searches. With Bing AI, you can ask if a car seat fits in a specific car, and the AI will give you an answer that uses data from official sources. It's pretty amazing. In other news, Google has announced its own version of ChatGPT, called BARD. While the response hasn't been too different from existing Google search, the demo did give the wrong answer. Google is in dire need of moving forward with their tech, and we think they will catch up soon. Moving on to generative art, we have ControlNet, which was released this month for stable diffusion. It's amazing! ControlNet has several toolkits that allow you to take an existing image and create something very specific that you are looking for. For example, you can create a pose and then match it to any context. It has also been combined with generating animations, redoing the layout of a room or house, or just revolutionizing memes. And there's more good news, Stable Diffusion version 3.0 is coming very soon. The team tweeted that the deadline for opting in or out of the new model is March 3rd, which means they will be actively training the next model. Fun fact, it costs $125,000 to train each model, down from $160,000. In other news, the co-founders of Instagram have come out with Artifact, which is very similar to Twitter and Reddit but focuses on showing you news stories you like to watch. Instead of videos like on TikTok, the algorithm applies to news articles and it uses AI to show you news that you want to read. Lastly, Meta has released their version of a large language model, LLM, called Llama, which is supposedly better than GPT-3. That's all the news we have for you today. Thank you for tuning in, and don't forget to like and subscribe to DD Crypto for more informative content like this. We'll see you in the next video.